Eighth grade, unit one, lesson 13, congruence. Number one, which of these four figures are congruent to the top figure? Figure A is not congruent because the distance of the dots are further apart in figure A than they are in the original figure. Figure B appears to be congruent with the original figure. The side lengths, the angles, and the dots all appear to be the same measure as the original figure. Figure C is pretty close. However, I think the side lengths might be slightly larger on figure C than they are on the original figure. And figure D is not congruent with the original figure either because the dots on figure D are vertical compared to the dots on the original, which are horizontal. Number two, these two figures are congruent with corresponding points marked. A. Are angles A, B, C and A prime, B prime, C prime congruent? Explain your reasoning. I traced over the second congruent figure, leaving A prime, B prime and C prime identified with tiny gaps in the tracing. And those tiny gaps in the tracing line up perfectly with angles A, B, and C. So angles A, B, and C, and A prime, B prime, and C prime are congruent. B. Measure angles A, B, C, and A prime, B prime, C prime to check your answer. You can use a protractor to measure these angles and both of them measure just about 110 degrees. And since they have the same measure, angles A, B, C, and angles A prime, B prime, C prime are congruent. Number three, here are two figures. Show using measurement that these two figures are not congruent. This red marker marks the width of figure A. In comparison to figure B, the red marker is just a little bit wider. This is one way to tell that these two figures are not congruent. You could repeat this process with a vertical line showing the height of figure A in comparison to the height of figure B, and the height of figure A would be shorter than the height of figure B. Number four. Each picture shows two polygons, one labeled polygon A, and one labeled polygon B. Describe how to move polygon A into the position of polygon B using a transformation. One hundred eighty degree rotation with center point the vertex shared by A and B. Another transformation could be a reflection across the vertical line that runs through the vertex shared by figure A and figure B. B. Rotate figure A clockwise 90 degrees around the vertex shared by the two figures. C. Translate up and then to the right. It goes up one unit and to the right three units. <laughs>